Welcome back you guys. Today I'm going to share how to make my very favorite chocolate buttercream. You can see it's super rich and delicious and it comes together so quickly. Super easy to make you guys. It's just butter, a little bit of salt, some sifted cocoa powder. It's important that you sift it. Of course some powdered sugar and then some melted chocolate. And the cocoa and the melted chocolate together are what's going to make this frosting so chocolatey so fudgy and so freaking good. I'm making a full batch because I have a lot of different things I'm going to do with this buttercream. So a full batch of buttercream can definitely frost a small cake or it could frost about four dozen cupcakes. Of course it's going to vary based on how big of a frosting swirl you're adding on top of your cupcakes or if you're doing any other kind of decoration with it, but um, as a rule of thumb that's about how many cupcakes it'll, it'll cover. So today I'm using my whisk attachment because I'm going to be using this buttercream on some cupcakes and I really like to use my whisk attachment for that because it incorporates a bit more air into the frosting and makes it a little bit fluffier. But I do like to use my paddle attachment when I'm making this frosting for a cake. It helps keep the buttercream really nice and smooth which makes it easier to frost onto cakes and get smooth sides. So if you're making this for a cake, I highly recommend using a paddle attachment. But if you're just frosting some cupcakes, a whisk attachment is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to cream this together on a low speed. And next I'm going to add in my cocoa powder. I don't know what kind of baking cocoa you use, but mine sometimes will clump up. If you find that your cocoa looks like this, be sure that you sift it. If you try to add it like this into your buttercream, it's going to not mix well. You're going to have chunks of cocoa in the finished frosting, and you want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm putting my full cup of baking cocoa into here, and then I'm just going to tap the sides gently to get that cocoa nice and fine inside of my bowl. That is going to mix into our frosting so much better than that. So now that our cocoa is sifted, I'm going to add it right into our butter. It's looking super thick and luscious. We're going to start to incorporate the powdered sugar into this. So we're going to do this slowly, just adding about a cup at a time. If you want to avoid getting huge puffs of powdered sugar, you can take a kitchen towel and you can place it over your KitchenAid or some saran wrap draped over your uh, KitchenAid and this will help reduce those clouds of powdered sugar. I'm going to very slowly mix in the powdered sugar on a low speed. So as I'm incorporating that powdered sugar, I'm going to take a break part way through and just scrape the sides of the bowl with my large spatula to make sure that all that powdered sugar is getting mixed in. I also am going to be alternating in splashes of heavy cream. This is half a cup of heavy cream and that's just going to help the powdered sugar mix more easily into the frosting. So our buttercream is looking beautiful. I'm going to add in that last bit of powdered sugar now. And this buttercream recipe actually uses a little bit less powdered sugar in terms of the ratio of powdered sugar to heavy cream than my normal American buttercream. So it's a tiny bit less sweet. So I'm going to add in the rest of my heavy cream. Give us some gentle pulses. And our frosting is looking great. So again, you guys, one more scrape around the sides just because there's some powdered sugar there that hasn't been mixed in yet. And make sure you scrape all the way down to the bottom of the bowl just to make sure there are no pockets at the bottom of cocoa or powdered sugar. And then we're going to add in our salt. There's a little bit of cocoa in there, but don't worry about that. I was a little bit aggressive when I was sifting earlier. So once you feel like your salt has been fully incorporated, it's time to add in that melted chocolate. So before I begin making this frosting, I melted about eight ounces of milk chocolate, which is just about one and a third cups. And I let it sit. So you can see it's still liquid, but it's cooled off a lot in temperature. And you definitely want to let your melted chocolate cool down a bit before you add it to the frosting, or else the heat from the chocolate can actually liquefy <laughs> your buttercream because all the butter in there is going to get too warm and your consistency is going to be off. So now we're going to add in that luscious melted chocolate. So we're just going to put it right in. You can see it's not too thin, it actually is pretty thick. But this is what's going to really take it to the next level. So I'm just going to give this a quick stir and get all that delicious chocolate incorporated in. So once I'm done making my buttercream, I actually like to give it a really good stir by hand with a rubber spatula, just like this, to get out any potential air bubbles to give me the smoothest, creamiest buttercream. So as you can see here, it's an important step to be able to pipe super well with it or to frost cakes with it. So if you want a super smooth consistency, that last step of stirring by hand is critical. It also makes it so much easier to add onto your cakes and to smooth onto the sides of your cake. I really hope you guys will give this recipe a try. It is so delicious. Don't forget the recipe is up on chillsweets.com and I'll include the recipe in the video description below.
So thanks so much for watching. Please let me know what frosting tutorials you'd like to see next, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.